Oh. Oh. Stephen. Oh. Oh. Hello there. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Um, Stephen here. Ollie here. We were just listening to some Kanye West. Yes. Kanye West has released an album in the last couple of weeks because uh, he's become a Christian. Jesus is king. Jesus is king. Wow. Guys, have you, have you listened to this album? I have. I um, love it. Yes, I have. As well. You might have seen some of the media around this album. It, it's, it's a huge thing in the Christian world right now. Hmm. Um, actually, I think mean, there's, some, there's some good points being raised, and there's also some really horrible points being raised. Um, and actually, this might even be the first time that we've seen in recent years a celebrity with the status of Kanye West uh, making a stand for Christ yeah, yeah, yeah. in a public, in a public we, sphere. We've seen Justin Bieber do it. Yeah, we've seen Justin Bieber, who's, who's released an album. Then was. there's, well, in, in Britain, there's celebrities like Dan Walker, who presents Football Focus. Yes, yeah, He's yeah, a Christian, yeah. and famously, yeah, he yeah. refuses to work on Sundays. Yeah, yeah. Um, And people said, you'll, you'll never make it in football, but he, he presents the second biggest yeah. TV show on, on BBC. Uh, second biggest football show on, t on TV at the yeah, moment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Despite, you know, despite the fact that he refused to work on Sundays. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we, we see smaller examples maybe, but we've never seen someone as publicly and as openly as Kanye West declare their faith and say, I'm all in for Jesus. Yeah. Um, and so we, we wanted to talk about We that did want to talk about this, and either like him or love him. Yeah. You know, Kanye West has had a bit of a journey. I remember yeah. his first album, Jesus Walks, what an absolute tune, mm. great song. You could see he was, he had a Christian, he wanted to sing about Christianity. Mm. And then his recent albums, not at all, and I think he even claimed himself to be Jesus. Something yeah, along the lines of that. Yeah, yeah. He's had a one eighty turn. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he's brought out this this mm. this album, and, he, and it's, yeah. it's 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 a worship mm. album. And it would appear that Kanye West, Kanye West is doing his Kanye best, bringing the Kanye zest, wearing a Kanye vest. I can't think of any. <laughs> over his chest. <laughs> over his Kanye. Over his Kanye. Over, chest. over his Kanye chest. Yeah. The vest. The vest. Oh, yeah. The vest. Um. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to talk about uh, how the Christian community has responded. Yeah. So I've actually seen a lot of a lot of positive from it. Yeah. But Stephen, have you? What are the negatives? I, I've seen a lot of the bad things about it because I, I think Twitter, in particular, has a habit of being a bit of a, a, a bubble for for anger and hatred. Uh, if you if you go to the wrong the wrong points of Twitter, um, and what what I've seen is a lot of people judging him. They're, they're questioning whether he really is. A Christian, or whether he's doing it for the publicity, yeah. um, which you know is kind of missing the point. There's other people who are saying, you know, is he is he tithing enough? Is he giving enough of his money to the church? I mean, he's so rich he could end poverty. All this kind of stuff, um, and you know, there's there's maybe a little bit more of an argument to be made there. But even then, that's it's still a little bit of a of a, of a step too far. Um, the, the bad things that we're seeing uh, people talk about Kanye. They're really judgmental, yeah. and that's that's the reality of what's happening here. As as Christians, we have been probably praying for ages and ages and ages that people in the public sphere would give their lives to Jesus and represent Jesus. And what we're seeing here is Kanye West in Times Square in New York put a big old electronic billboard up yeah. that said Jesus, Jesus is, is king. king. I mean, Jesus is king on the side of a Times Square billboard. I mean, that's incredible. That's, a, that's a, one of the biggest tourist sites in the world. And he's there proclaiming Christ's name. And we're here judging him because, oh, he's, oh, he's he, yeah, we're wondering if he's, if he's really become a Christian Is it based, true? based, based on some of the lyrics that he's written. Yeah. And to me, it reminds me of the Apostle Paul. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Bible, there's, there's, a, there's a guy called the Apostle Paul. And he, he um, writes a big portion of the, the New Testament. Mm. Um, in fact, he's, I think he's the the biggest writer of, of the of the New Testament. Um, and he used to be called Saul, and he was persecuting the church. He was there to destroy the church of Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, and what he what he did was he, he approved of the murder of Stephen, the first martyr, not me, first martyr, <laughs> uh, Stephen. Um, and the Bible says, you know, Paul approved of his killing. He approved of what they were doing. And yet, when Paul was travelling the Damascus Road, Jesus appeared in front of him and said, Saul, why are you persecuting my church? And he proved that he was real to, to Saul. And Saul was blinded and he, he walked into town and um, you know, he, he, became, he became a Christian. He followed Jesus. And to me, it, this is what it, I think 
Kanye is almost like a bit of a modern day Paul in, in, in a certain sense. Now don't hear me wrong because that could be um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 we're going to get angry yeah. Christians on this. Yeah, don't get, don't get angry at me because it is, a, it is a big leap. But it, it, it reminds me a bit of Paul's conversion in that such a publicly uh, secular figure, someone who doesn't have anything to do with faith in their in their life, has become a Christian, professes the faith of Christ, and yet here we are doubting him. But the first century church, when Paul became a Christian, you know, Saul got got a you know. Since, you know, since you're a Christian, you're no longer going to be called Saul. I'm going to give you a new name. It's Paul. And, you know, I think in those days, it would have been like, well, hang on, you're coming into our church saying you're one of us now, but, you know, weren't you approving of the killing of Stephen just a few days ago? Come on, what, what's, what's going on here? Um, so I, I see a lot of similarities. And I, I think, actually, we don't need to be judging Kanye. You know, we need to be you know, praying for him and encouraging the fact that he's become a Christian. Because nobody becomes a Christian and has their life immediately all together. But Kanye has become a Christian and he's immediately released a gospel album where yeah. he's articulating faith in ways yeah. that, yeah. you know, would be Because really, he has that, that yeah, artistic Because he has the artistic nature, ability to do that. Yeah. Creativity. And actually, I, I saw in a youth ministry forum on Facebook that I'm part of a little note that somebody'd uh, slipped into an um, offering uh, plate uh, in a church and just said, my son came to church this morning because of Kanye's album. Hallelujah. And honestly, I think that is all that really needs to be said. Yeah. I've actually heard that Kanye, uh, that Jesus has been trending more on Google because people have been Googling G more about Jesus because of Kanye's mm -hmm. album. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. which is great. And I guess... You know, you know, one of the things that we need to ask is why, why, why are we judging, why are people so angry about Kanye? Yeah. And like even being judgmental. And I, like Stephen, I'll be honest, when I first saw his album, I was like a little bit like, oh right, well I need to investigate this, is he actually a Christian? Is yeah. he just doing this to make money? I mean, you know how judgmental you are. Well, right? yeah, I'm not, I'm not judgmental. But I, I think in the church, which is so sad that we are people of ungrace. Yeah. And actually when we, we are meant to be people of yeah. grace. Um, and grace is a, a free gift that is given from God, yeah. where our, our, our past sins are forgiven. Mm. And we believe that Jesus is the ultimate example of grace. When he died on the cross to save us from our sins, he brought us into relationship with mm. God. And look at Kanye, and, and, and you know, he might have uh, had a sinful life um, and, and gone off the path. But actually, he's choosing now to turn his focus back to Jesus yeah. and saying... I want to get. I want to give my life to Jesus. And you know what? No one is as far gone. No, no one is. No one can ever go beyond grace. That's what's yeah. so amazing about grace. Mm. Um, there's a great Bible verse in Psalm 100. I can't you can't read your own. What is, it? what is it? Psalm Psalm 103, verse 12, and it says, "As, as far, far as the east is from, from the Kanye west, west. Oh, as far as the east is from the west, west. that's how that far God has moved us." He has removed our sins from us. We butchered that. Anyway. We, we butchered that, but that's okay. But as far as God's east, grace is here for us, as far as the east is from the west, mm. that's how far. And how far is that? That's really far. Yeah, it's continuous. We're in the middle of this far. And with that, bye.